Nicholas and Company was founded by my father, Nicholas William Escondas, who was an immigrant coming over from a foreign country and landed in Utah to begin a new career. We use 1939 for our founding date since that's when he made it a company in Salt Lake City. Nicholas today employs 540 employees. We're proud of our contribution to the community, to our employees. Nicholas & Company is a broadline food service distributor serving restaurants, institutions, and food service organizations. Nicholas & Company has come a long ways from my, the days of my grandfather selling the dented cans on his route and then going on to now starting to get meats and starting to get fresh produce and vegetables and breads. And now, basically, we carry over 14,000 line items. We basically say we carry everything from soup to nuts. Our biggest challenge is the way that we go about technology. IBM's provided us great platforms for our sales force that goes out, online order entries, laptops, of course, immediate global interfaces with our trucks as well, all interfacing back to our headquarters so we could produce great products and statements and be consistent. That's what we look for in our IT solutions because we want to work and partner up with a great company that's going to provide those and take us to the next level. Previously, we, we did operate an environment where you had the need to add physical standalone servers to meet application needs. With the IBM System I and the integrated Blade Center, we've been able to deliver new servers using virtualization um, without having to go out and buy or, or you know, spend capital to deliver those things. We're able to take the existing infrastructure, carve that up into individual machines, and deliver those very rapidly. No longer do we need to add you know, a physical server per application. We're able to use a single blade, virtualize that into many machines and, and deliver a better return on investment for that server. What we do is in our warehousing programs we have RF radio frequencies, we have IBM programs that bring all this product in, is traced, tracked, tells our employees, our forklift operators where the product is put away, replenishes it, rotates the product. It's important that we're on the cutting edge of this with IBM and that IBM is pushing us in this direction so that we can make sure that we run more efficient and better in our quality of service to our customers. At Nicholas & Company, having a green IT uh, to us means that we are able to deliver electronic storage, storage of reports, storage of pictures, storage of video, eliminate the paper that's moving through the organization. Through this infrastructure upgrade, we have web-enabled via an intranet that's served directly from the system I, and we've been able to budget a 23% reduction in paper going into the new fiscal year. At Nicholas & Company, we are always focused on our carbon footprint, keeping those energy costs from rising, uh, keeping our footprint in the server room to an absolute minimum is something that we constantly focus on whether it's the virtualization technologies or whether it's consolidation, that is of paramount importance to us in, in that server room. We are always aware of the carbon footprint that, um, that we produce as an organization. Uh, we know that we're, we're in the distribution business. Uh, we will do over five million miles a year on the highways across our geography. So working and using technology with the sales organization to help us reduce those miles is something that we do constantly. Lotus Notes implementation within the company has definitely tied to our sustainability initiatives because again it gets back to who you are as a company and how you conduct yourself. By giving us the ability to reduce miles that our, that our organization is driving, by giving us the ability to um, reduce the amount of paper that we consume as a company, uh, it has definitely had an impact and uh, we believe that there's continued uh, results that uh, we'll, we'll be seeing in the future. Nicholas and Company chose IBM and continues to choose IBM First and foremost for their reliability. Without a doubt, it is the most robust, reliable piece of equipment we have to run our business on. We've been an IBM customer for years. We plan to be one on in the future. Um, I believe the business started um, using technology, I think, in 1978 with an IBM card reader. Um, and the rest is history. We've come a long way, and we look to IBM for future solutions, both hardware and software to keep our business uh, moving forward.